I was at work at our old campus in Fogelsville and uh, we were all gathered. Someone had put on the TV and we were all gathered around the reception area and we had no idea what this meant in the beginning. But then when we realized what was going on, um, it, was, it was awful, horrific. Um, it changed my life. It changed our world that we live in and we just were at work gathered together. Um, you know, around our co my co-workers, and we all just, I wanted to go home to be with my family, my children, and we did, because they shut the schools down. So, this day I remember all those people um, who have lost loved ones, and my prayers are for all of them, and forever our world has changed. I have three boys who are all in the Army, and September 11th was a pivotal, pivotal point in all of their lives. I know it impacted them. Um, they were all in elementary school and they talked about it. They wrote poems about it. They had dreams about it. And my brother was activated right after September 11th. He's in the Air Force. And they saw that and we lived that life. Um, and they all came to me at different points and said, Mom, we feel it is our duty to protect this country. And they are all now active in the Army. I was the associate dean at a school in Florida at the time. Uh, my assistant came in and said, Dr. Thigpen, don't worry, your daughter is okay. I said, my daughter is always okay. What are you talking about? She said she got out of the building and she's headed uptown. My daughter was working in New York at the Empire State Building on one of the top floors. She saw the plane as it had left crash into the um, Trade Center and she saw the second plane heading right towards what she thought was the Empire State Building. There was panic in her office. All of the people rushed for the elevators and the stairs, pushing each other out of the way. She finally got downstairs uh, to the sidewalk. She saw what is a relic now, uh, a uh, payphone. She had no money. A person standing at the phone gave her a quarter. She called my wife. She said, the uh, World Trade Center's been uh, uh, run into. We think it could be a terrorist attack. And I'm heading uptown away from where the smoke is. So she walked uptown uh, as far as she could go to her apartment, which was, was uh, uh, north of Central Park at the time. And um, she had just started dating this young man who later became her husband. And they uh, survived the situation together. Shortly after that, my wife and I decided that we were going to move back to New York uh, from Florida, and we did. My 9-11 story is a story about a New York City firefighter. He's a family friend, and he had made a decision that morning to take some time off to take his son to daycare because his wife was a full-time um, employee, and uh, he just thought he would um, you know, do something special with his son. And because he made that decision, he missed the call. And many, many of his friends were people who were actually on site that day. And because he missed the call, I think of him as one of the worst casualties of that day, because he carries a lot of guilt about not being there to be with his friends to help in that event. On the other hand, um, his decision, you know, uh, changed his life and um, touches people in a totally different way. So I, I guess um, I look at it that it really did, um, a small decision really changed everybody's life that day.